welcome back and yes we are going to carry on to do our next pages i've done some work already so let me walk you through and tell you what i've done so far this page we're going to do closure with seam binding you can use any ribbon that you've got in your stash that is all good so i cut my page to size and i can give you the measurements again and that it is seven and five eighths by seven and five eighths the little bit the little piece that was that i've used here was the cut off of my next page i cut this off as well so the piece that was here I, that I cut off, that is what I use here. I just cut it in half. So that measurement is, the measurement for that, it is three and seven eighths by four and a quarter. And I just let it overlap. This is just going to be a fold out. Now, the measurement for this will be five and a half and score at five. And the length that you need to have for that, it is a six and a quarter. You just need two of them. This is the other one. I've done my... Um, closure on the one side i glue up my seam binding and then we're going to do this side but what i'm going to do is i'm going to off center it i'm just going to grab my glue and then i can show you what i mean by off center and make sure that it is level Let me bring this in. So, maybe this way. That's what I did with the other one. I'm going to be, I've got a piece here. So, it is just an eighth of an inch of the grey showing. I still like to do that. So, I'm going to let the black fold out exactly on that um, end there so it is going to show also a small eighth of an inch I don't know if you can see it that's it so that's even and then I'm just going to press it down just make sure you're not in your fold line and I think I'm gonna show some glue yes I'm just gonna clean it up so I'm just gonna take a little bit over and let's see if it's the same on that side it looks like it pinched it and I'm just gonna use some tape and take it over and that is going to be the closure for this page this is an easy one I don't want to make it too tight because when we revisit our pages that is what that we want to do tighten it up so let me show you and that falls out and that falls out so you can put the picture 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 right then let's go on to our next page 
So for the next page, what I've done is the whole page, um, we're going to fill with the other piece of cutoff that we've done. That is four inches in the width and then it is the seven and a quarter and that's going to be at the top and then our plain cardstock it is four inches and this side it is seven and seven and three quarters we're going to glue this one down and then we're going to glue this one down they need to but we're not going to glue this one completely down like that one we're just going to do the the side the bottom and then this side as well i'm going to glue this one down completely and let me show you what it looks like i just need to change my glue i was running out with the other one so i'm going to use this glue it's also very nice but i need to clear i need to close the lid every time because it oozes out and oh just a little bit on the side here and let's turn it I just need to get so much easier to have something there you can see where I end and where the page starts This is also a, a much easier way if you are short with paper and you want to do something special. This is also something that you can keep in mind for doing. I just need to clean up my glue. This is very nice, this glue. It just clean up very easy now this one we are going to glue because we make a pocket that's the whole idea I cut this a little bit longer exactly the same as that one four inches four inches because I want to let it go over the edge here then it looks like that you've got the whole page but you don't you just got half of page of the pattern that is that's the idea behind it you can use score tape if you want to um, I'm not going to use tape I will just use my glue and I'm going to be very careful putting it on because like I said this is it's a very good glue and it cleans up nicely but I don't really want to clean it up <laughs> it's so much easier not to do it and I just need to close it right going to go with my finger make sure I'm not over the edge and this side to the edge there okay so now we can put it down I'm just gonna eyeball it and make sure I'm straight with that if you've got straight with the one side you should be fine with the other side 
and it looks good and let's burnish it just remember to stay away from your score line your fold line here for your page out so I just want to clean it up and finish that side just get my rubber And that is our pocket you can see that's a nice big pocket now this is the piece that I cut off from the bottom here of that one and that's gonna fit perfectly onto the gray cardstock just want to see there's some glue there that was a very easy one and I'll show you we are going to do something here but that is still coming so we've got a nice pocket where we're going to put our photos in on this side we can do this page I just want to tidy this up a bit better just need to make sure yep that's right we're going to put some school type all around and in the middle and then we're going to put it in the book this one curls back in my pricking tool it's gonna help me okay so that one is down and I'm gonna lift this one up and do the middle one and this top one and I did put a little bit extra over my ribbon and I'm going to peel that off as well and let's bring it down this one that one And I just want to untidy this so I can finish it. Oops. Then those pages are complete. And we can move on to the next one. Just. So we're on with the one and where our pocket is. This is the pocket. That is the paper that I picked for it. It's these two. And I think I'm going to do the plane on the pocket. Now, what we can do is I'm just gonna eyeball it again and make sure I've got a little bit of black showing I just need to get that in I need to get a piece of white paper it's gonna be easier okay and then I'm gonna black showing on this side and I'm getting my pencil and 
end that's my mark where I'm gonna cut it and this is my mark where I'm gonna cut it so I'm gonna take this to the trimmer and I will cut it down there's mine I cut it down so there's just a little bit of black showing all around now I said that I want to do a cut out here so it, you can see that this is a pocket and you can take out the insert to do that I'm just gonna get my um, punch that I want to use for that okay I've got the punch that I want to use uh, I've got no idea no idea how big is this oh it's a two inch punch a two inch round punch so what I did is I've got my middle of this paper not your black paper because it's bigger than what your pattern paper or the paper you're going to use it's bigger so I've got my middle there and I just need to get the middle here there it is this my there's my thing for the middle I just make a mark so there it is that's my middle there and I'm going to bring it over so I can see it because I'm going to punch on with this side I took this plastic off because to me it's just it does that's no purpose okay I'm going to turn my book so what you do is you bring your pattern paper your cardstock or what you're going to use and you put it bring it up level with the black paper and make sure that is where you are going to position it that's where you're going to glue it then we're going to put the punch in i think i'm going to clip mine let me get some clips uh, i moved again that's it now it's the pocket you need to if you want to do it to on both side then do the other side separate I'm not I'm just gonna do it on the one side so I'm gonna put those together and that is where I'm gonna put my punch in and I just hope I'm getting it in that's it I'm in so that mark is over the mark where I've got it and I'm not gonna do a very big notch okay maybe that is that is okay a little bit bigger Probably a little bit bigger <laughs> I think that is fine So I'm just gonna do this and now I can come in with my punch I've got exactly my mark where it is and I can press it I just don't have the strength in my hands to, to do the punch all through because my card my paper is both its cardstock so I might get this one if I cut it with the scissors that's it I got it this is just a, a round punch any any punch any any what you've got use it so when you put your paper on you've got your um 
let me put that in there I can show you you've got your black showing you see you've got your black showing that's easy to get that I'm on I can put the white in there so you can see again and let's finish I've got some glue sipping out here I just want to pick it up clean it Let's go to this side of the page and I'm just going to grab the paper. It's going to be this one and I'm just going to cut it down to size and then I'll be back with you. So this is my page. I've cut it down and this is my off cuts and they are going to come in very handy. I'm just going to put that aside and I'm just going to get my black paper for this to do the, the waterfall. Right, I've got my pages ready for the next, well, the waterfall for the next page. And you need five by five by five. So five, like a square five inch square and you need five of them then what you're going to need is the width of this is also five inches that's an A4 you cut it down to five inches in the width and then you need the whole page and that's 11 and 5 eighths then we're going to start scoring so you get the middle of your of your page I'm just going to turn it this way you get the middle of your page and that is five and five eight and you score you're going to half an inch and you score and you need to have one two three four half an inch so you need five score lines half an inch 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 you with me you get your middle of your page that is five five eight and you score leave it on your scoreboard you're going half an inch and you score again so you've got one two three four five score lines and then you just fold it and burnished on the score lines right now the piece that you cut off from the paper uh, where did I put my piece? That is it. Don't throw it away because we can use it again. Not in this project, but in another project. But yeah, if you can use it in this project, we will. Then you need this piece. It is 8 inches long. And it is one and three quarters in the width. And you put that aside. First, we are going to put our pages on. And we're going to start at the bottom and we will put our page on. Now, you can use score tape or you can use hot um, wet glue. I think I am going to use score tape and let me show you put it in the middle of your half an inch and 
try and do it in the middle of your half an inch it's very important and don't go over nothing and burnish it I think I am gonna stick out that's just a little point over there and I'm just gonna cut it off let's do the next one And let's get our five by five pieces now I'm not I think that's still over right and I am just about off my score line and I'm still even on side to side on this side and that side that is what you need to be even because otherwise you can't fold it it won't work right you can do it this way if you want to and I'm just gonna turn that over line it up I'm more comfortable lying flat and side that is and you can pull it away let's just check our score lines otherwise if we are over we're gonna have to do it again see no, that is good on the side yes they fold it yep and I'm gonna lift that one lift that one gonna lift that and that so one two three four I did cut five I did not and I just did the four score lines and mm, I think no I don't think it's gonna just the four is gonna do it I think if we put the fifth one in it's going to it's gonna come it's gonna come over because I want to put flowers I need to have space here for flowers we're not going to use that one we will just use the fourth one and we can use that in the next one okay so now this one it is shorter because of the length of our paper but not a problem we are gonna join it and now this is what I need to see it's not a big piece 
and that piece is we we are gonna have the flowers on just want to see I've got this little piece left and I might do that I might join the two together and then we can cut it off lighter when I've done the flowers yes I'm gonna do that so I'm just gonna use my school type just want to make sure yes it is the same so I'm just gonna oh I am over just be careful if you think you over just roll it in with your with your finger and I think I can pull the whole one off that's it and let's see now it's going to be much longer but that's fine this is what our waterfall is i'm sure there's so many people that's making this waterfall but that's fine we're all gonna do that it is beautiful when you've done it is really beautiful now we need to secure it I just remember don't this is your top part that goes okay push that over don't cut that because we've just joined it don't cut it we need to secure this onto our paper I've got that piece there and that is what I'm going to use but I need to cut it the same as the pattern paper I'm just gonna do that and I'm just gonna use my scissors and I'm gonna cut that down now to give you a tip when you do this and you're not really cutting straight you see the bottom blade and there's my one mark and there's my other mark I'll put the bottom blade onto them two marks and I bring the top light down and straight right so I just want to see if I'm right yes yes that's it so I'm just going to lift this up because this flowers is going to be here and it's going to hang out of the book I'm going to try not that it hang out the book and that's why I'm going to take this up and let's bring this down see we still got a lot of space there at the top and I think I'm going to take it up a little bit more let's bring it down I think that is my position now what I'm going to do I'm going to do a pencil mark there a pencil mark there so I'm trying I'm going to keep it there but if not my mark is there and then I can secure it that's going to go over now don't put this one up higher because don't interfere with your score lines for your waterfall alright that's why I'm putting this here and that's going to be my mark there as well and there we can always rub it out So what I'm going to do, I'm just, I'm going to make a mark there. So. I 
I need, let me turn it, so that's it. So between that mark and that mark there, we're going to put score type on the black paper. I'm going to use the wider one and let's take that away. Let me make the marks. I don't want to, after all, I've put my score type um, and I've burnished it, burnished it, so we can bring our paper back. pencil mark and there that's it and we burnished it let's see and the waterfall is fairly in the middle and let's gonna put this piece over and we secure it even better I'm gonna put score tape on the side here that's it let's take that one off come over and down Finish, finish, and let's bring it. And there's nothing that interferes with our waterfall, and it is very secure. So now this one that we've cut that's much longer. Now we can. You can decide where do you want to cut it. That's the end of your paper. That's where I'm going to cut mine because at this part I'm going to put some flowers and that is that I would like it just to be on the end there. Now you can put it in your trimmer if you want to. I just gonna cut it. I've got the wrong mat. <laughs> I nearly cut into my mat and I do cut hard. I don't want to do my on my glass board as well. This is better. Okay. And that is I see I've got, I'm a little bit over here with the black as well so I can just trim it it's probably not straight <laughs> that's why I'm not over okay I'm just gonna rub it out and let's see push up and bring down that is our next waterfall and it's done so what you can do is score type around and let's put it in our book okay I'm busy putting mine in I'm pulling the last second oh second last one off and that is it so I'm just going to lift this up so I can burnish. I think that is fine. 
fine that is a waterfall and I'm quite happy with the way it, it turns out on to the next page now let me just grab all that together and have a look and see what we are going to do with our pocket and then we just got a few pages oh just two three left okay so let me grab this and i'll come back to you that is my next two pay um pattern paper and solid paper that i'm going to use for this I think that will be in the next tutorial. I see this is going on very long. I hope you really have fun with me to make all these uh, waterfalls. I had this idea for quite a long time and never really had the opportunity to start making it. And then I decided with this paper there's not a lot but I can do it we can do it it is really very nice papers as well now I will see you in the next tutorial thank you very much please share my video give me the thumbs up if you can leave a comment I will appreciate that don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell that you can get notification every time I do a video. My friends, please stay safe until the next one.